pleasure to see you both. Songbird needs a moment to disarm the device. Which gives us a chance to chat. Oh, please, there is no need to hurry. We have a terrible hangover. <laughs> Both of you? A bit of rhetoric. Emmerich doesn't drink, but when I do, both of us suffer. Well, we'll fix that right quick. Do you often conduct business hungover? Sister, do you? Ah, well, uh, it uh, was an accident. You got blackout blitzed by accident? How? A sad but common fate for a lover of vodka. Now that, I understand. As you can see, Colonel Anson, we sometimes lack a soldier's discipline. But with unique flaws come unique strengths. I have no doubt. I'd like to raise a little toast to a successful day of business. Work first, only then pleasure. Of course. It's changing the subject. Did you enjoy yourselves at the Sapphire? My people tell me the stakes went high. You two left richer and happier, I hope. It was magnificent. A joy to play. Really? Even though you lost all you brought? Life is not only about winning, Colonel. A man must learn to accept failure as well. Wrong. Winning is the one true measure of one's life. The Black Sapphire, my pride and joy. I worked hard to make it the go-to destination for Night City's royalty. Oh, actually, before I forget, I learned recently that we have a mutual friend. She said you did time together at La Sante, remembers you well. No, no, this is not something I wish to revisit. Not with someone I hardly know. But she very much insisted. Old Thieves Code and all that. Raquel asked me to say hello. She did her time under Max Security, C Block. Said a rat tattoo might jog your memory. Ah, oh, a fact about me that is not so easy to learn. Very true. I was there under a false name. Also true. Alas, I did not know any Raquel. Please excuse me. How many years have you been in Night City? They say you served with Militech once. Seven years now. And yes, before that it was my mission to plant an NUS flag on this soil. Then it appears to be a great success. The things you have achieved here. Impressive. That flag's a piss-soaked pile of ash now. What I built, I built with my own two hands, for me. Ah, oh, it seems your old friends are still interested in you. That is why the FIA sniff around. Call it a sentimental attachment. The battle for NUSA's future drives us both. Interesting. Then are you different? I win my battles. Hmm. Touché, Colonel. Ah, uh, by the way, at the Sapphire, you asked me to contact a certain fashion type. Uh, remind me who? Ah, oh, the tailor of Kerry Eurodyne. Oh, he's so flavorful. Mm, I must have a taste. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's the one. 
The fashion world isn't exactly my forte, so I'll need maybe a week to arrange it. Your sister certainly is the more talkative of you two. You noticed? You compliment each other well. Listen, it seems we've got time to spare. There's another opportunity I'd like to discuss. An expansion into Western Europe. What I need is a reliable partner on the ground. Two would be even better. Ooh, I have butterflies. A lucrative opportunity? <laughs> but I shouldn't sugarcoat it. I'm asking for a lot of hard work. Comms channels, supply chains, secure transport routes, the good graces of local authorities. These things I have. The groundwork is laid. Then what more do you need from us? I need an inn with Les Collectifs. I'm sorry, Colonel, but you are teasing the wrong cock. Am I? But you're famous in Paris. You must have a connection. Le Collectif and we um, have a history. Like you and your NUSA, we do not uh, make love. No fucking love at all. Uh -huh. I see. And appreciate both the honesty and the metaphor. Ah, so me. We can begin. The mainframe is ready. You remember the terms. One of you feeds in the access codes, the other stays with me. I will stay. Shall we? Follow me. So tell me, how do you like NC now that you're back? This hollow shell? While you are waiting, I ran some initial diagnostics. <laughs> 